my friends welcome to classic education youtube channel today i have come up with a new concept in the economical field that is called as the gig economy so the world is witnessing the rapid transformation with respect to the communication especially in the field of the internet the internet has changed the way we looked into the economy the way we were looking into the the world now the whole world has become a small global village so that is because of the rapid spread of the internet this spread of the internet has created lot of opportunity which otherwise could not have been imagined by the common people the wide window that has been opened by the internet has created lot of job opportunities it has created lot of uh you know uh, employment opportunities that is nothing but the job opportunities it has created lot of you know uh, opportunities for the businessmen to start the business in a novel ways the traditional way of doing business was something different but doing business online has become very easy and it has become more convenient and it has become more profitable also now we are you know seeing the e-commerce companies we are you know witnessing the companies which are you know uh, operating in india but they are located in another country though they are not geographically present in india they are operating their business in india so the, these are the new ways which were made possible by this spreading internet okay this fast spreading communication way okay so the by product of this improved uh, i mean the internet spread is the gig economy today we are going to discuss about this gig economy okay welcome to this channel again let's start with the basic question what is the gig economy gig economy is nothing but it's a market rather it is a labor market characterized by the prevalence of short term contract or freelance work as opposed to the permanent jobs what is happening here it is a economy it is characterized by the major feature of this economy is that the prevalence of short term contracts that means here the laborers are involved in the short term contract they are uh, doing the work based on the contracts but the, this contract will be for a very short period of time they are the freelance workers that means they do not have any affiliation to any of the company okay they are the independent workers these workers will get jobs somewhere and they work on the basis of contracts okay this is opposed to the concept of permanent jobs here these jobs in a gig economy these jobs are not permanent unlike the formal sector job where the job security is there here there is no much job security in this kind of labor market okay this gig economy may involve the connecting with clients or customers through an online platform here these uh, short term contract workers they will be having contacts with their clients or the customers through the online platform so we will discuss uh, everything in detail in subsequent slides but for time being just remember that they will be having the contacts with their clients or the customers through the online platform okay a gig is a temporary contract job concentrate here a gig means the literally me literary meaning of this gig is that it is a contract job this contract is especially for a very short term period okay this a short period contract job is called as the gig the person who involves in this kind of gig is called as the gig worker okay the contract employee gets the paid once he finishes the work yes once the contract is over once the work is over okay the employee will get the salary according to the pre agreed terms and the conditions okay this is what happens in the you no know, so called gig economy now who are the gig workers yes we saw that what is the meaning of the gig economy now let us come to the next you know basic question who are the gig workers according to the ministry of labor that is, uh, of the government of india a gig worker is the one who engages in the income earning activities outside of a traditional employer employee relationship that means here he is the person he will earn the income okay he earns the income through his activities 
outside the traditional employer employee relationship see uh, usually in the traditional way how we de define a employer and employee there will be contract based jobs okay that this contract in the traditional way of employment the contract will be for long time the employee will be retained in the company for long time as long as you know he is you know proved to be productive to the company and there will be job security okay they will not be removed from the job uh, as easily as possible but here in this gig economy gig worker he will earn the income but it is unlike the traditional employer employee relationship there is no much you know deeper relationship between the employer and employee in this economy okay then gig workers are typically hired by companies okay these workers are hired by the companies on a contractual basis okay then they are not considered as their employees though the company is hiring the workers here these workers are not called as the employees because they are not going to work for a long time with the company they are hired for a specific purpose once the purpose of the company is over these contract based workers will be sent back okay there is no much relationship between employer and employee okay that is why these people or the gig workers are not considered as the employees of a particular company then these workers are paid for each individual gig this individual gig is nothing but the agreement or contract based agreement okay once the agreement i mean the work is over they will be these workers will be getting paid okay the work can range from what kind of these workers uh, do what kind of works these gig workers will take up they may range from driving a car to delivering the food to the home okay or writing the code or freelance articles okay these are all forms of gig works okay writing the article to a particular website okay being the freelance artist or the writer or writing the code for particular uh, you know software program uh, and getting the money for that uh, you can become the driver for a particular you know uh, driving company like uber or ola okay food delivering uh, apps like swiggy okay uh, uh, zomato they will all hire the workers the workers who you know who work for such companies are called as the gig workers okay these are the forms of work in the gig economy next classification of the workers in the gig economy what kind of workers uh, do we find in the gig economy there are two kinds of the workers one is platform workers and another type of workers is the non platform workers okay platform workers and the non platform workers we just concentrate on the platform workers these platform workers they work based on the websites or the online software apps the major characteristics of these platform workers is that these workers they work based on the website okay online website are the online software apps like ola uber zomato swiggy okay to connect with the clients or the customers okay the major linking you know aspect or the major linkage between the customer and the the gig worker is the website or the app okay the worker who uses that kind of apps or the website is called as the platform worker because he is making use of a particular online platform like the app or the website okay they are called as the platform workers but the gig workers which who are not using the online platforms like the app or the website they are you know called as the non platform workers or the non platform gig workers they are like the casual wage workers okay there is no much difference between the casual daily wage earners okay okay they uh, they also work for the part time or they may work for the full time okay this is the non platform gig workers the people you see if you look into this you know classification of the employees here the online platforms online platforms you know uh, gain much of the importance especially in the platform workers uh, it is also called as the platform economy in the platform economy that means online based economic activities the internet is the major linkage okay the people who do not use the technological services such as the internet okay
they may be left behind because since this gig economy works majorly by using the internet it will deliver the benefits to the people who use more and more technologies or web based activities okay that is why the people who do not use the technological services such as the internet they may be left behind by the benefits of the gig economy okay in this way the rural people or the people who are residing in the uh, rural areas they are at the rural area okay in the rural areas the internet problems are there sometimes network coverage will, uh, issue will be there because of such things these rural people will be left behind in using the you know online services offered by the various platforms okay but the cities cities tend to have the most highly developed services and are the most entrenched in the gig economy since uh, there are various job opportunities in the cities cities are you know very well you know connected with the internet facilities the people in the urban areas they will harvest more and more benefits of the uh, the gig economy now let us come to the discussion regarding the examples of gig economy i have already given the examples of gig economy but now again discuss again what more kind of uh, you know uh, activities are there in the gig economy first one it is like the driving for a ride sharing service for example uber okay or ola and there are various other you know car pooling websites are there they will offer the jobs to the drivers okay driving for a particular company okay it is an example for gig economy painting someone house okay they will be developing one app let us say color color may be one uh, let us assume this is a app in this app the painters will be there they will be freely available to paint i mean they are readily available to paint a particular house but the client will use this color app and he will put the demand in the this uh, interface and this customer okay customer will put the demand this readily available painter will go and color the this customer's house so in this way this color app will be uh, you know interface between these two uh, people okay the painting freelance work like the freelance artist freelance writer freelance journalist so they are also part of the gig economy or coaching the uh, these faculties they may be switching between the different you know institutions these institutions like an academy or vedanta or byju's there are various other you know online based you know uh, learning apps are there the faculties which are going and teaching there also you know part of this gig economy then fitness training tutoring food delivery all of these are the some of examples for the gig economy okay these kind of activities are taken up in the gig economy now is gig economy a new concept is this a new trend in the world or uh, has this been a uh, in news since long time no this is the newly emerging economic revolution in the global economy as i said the internet has made a lot of difference to the way we look into the economical activities in the world okay this gig concept is very common in the advanced countries see in the underdeveloped countries where the internet is not much spread there is no service based economical activities there the gig economy may not offer the much benefits but in the highly economically advanced countries this gig economy concept is you know uh, very common okay especially in the countries like us and the various countries in the europe okay they uh, they hire part time workers in the us and the european economy they hire the part time workers and these part time workers will you know offer the you know service to the customers america is one is on the way to establishing a gig economy america united state of america is on its way to establish the gig economy and it estimates some according to the some of the estimates so there is a, as much as a third of the working population is already some in some gig economy see one third of the working population in united states is in the gig economy okay that means almost 30% of the uh, 33% of the workforce in the united states is involved in the gig economy then with respect to the india it is a very new concept 
With freelancing evolving into a gig economy, the concept is attracting a lot of people in India as well. Though this gig economy is attracting a lot of you know, uh, employees and the employers into its fold, this is the very new concept in India. Okay, The rapidly burgeoning gig workforce is ushering a new economic revolution globally. Yes, this has become the global economic revolution okay because of the emerging new kind of jobs emerging new type of skills in the workers this is the revolutionary economic field in the global uh, economical aspect now how many people are part of the gig economy let us look into some of the countries where uh, how many people are involved in the gig economical related activity in the united states of america and europe around 30% of the workers make up the gig economy that means 30% of one third of the workforce in the united states and europe they are involved in the gig economy in the united kingdom 5 million people that is around 16% of the total workforce in the united kingdom is part of the gig economy so that means these advanced countries they are already harvesting the benefits of the gig economy there are too much people are involved in the gig economy but in india since this is the new concept since the gig economy is a nation is in its nascent stage less number of people are involved but given the uh, workforce in india given the uh, demographic dividend in india this gig economy will become the very fast you know spreading economical activity in the indian field okay in india around 7.7 .7 million workers are engaged in the gig economy this is the data given by the niti ayo in 2020 sorry recently the it published one report according to the report of the niti ayo there are 7.7 .7 million workers engaged in the gig economy last year that is in the 2020 and 21 fiscal year but this job number of the people involved in the gig economy may increase to 23 million workers by 2030 that means by uh, within next eight years, the there will be threefold increase in the number of workers in the gig economy. It's a huge data for India. That means it shows India will become the major hub for the gig economy in the world. Now, what are the benefits of the gig economy? Yes, we have seen how many people are involved in the uh, econo uh, this uh, gig economical activities, especially in the Europe and USA how the india is performing what are the you know types of workers in the gig economy and all now we have to look at the next basic question that is what are the benefits of gig economy what kind of you know advantages this economy offers to the country let us look into it this you know gig economy will offer benefits to this, uh, all the stakeholders like there are st stakeholders like employees are there employers are there and government is also there to each of these stakeholders, the economy offers different benefits. First, let us look into the benefits offered for the employees. What kind of benefits these empl employers will get? These employers will have the access to wide range of talent. That means they can have the uh, access to wider pool of the people who have different and diversified talents. Some of the uh, workers may be, you know, uh, skilled in the art like the painting some of the workers may be skilled in the fast delivery of the food see based on the skill levels this employer will hunt the you know, worker he will you know acquire the talent then the efficiency efficacy and the productivity of the workers are much more in the gig economy compared to the traditional economical activities see since this is the contract based activity since this is the performance based activity here the employee's performance will be more, their efficiency will be more compared to the permanent jobs. Okay. Here more economical for employers. This gig economy will be more economical for the employers. These employers cannot afford to hire full-time workers. See, for the full-time workers, they have to pay more. They have to pay uh, other perks also. These employers have to provide social security to the full-time workers. Okay. But uh, if they hire the gig workers, no such you know uh, social security is required. No such you know uh, extra perks are required to be given to the gig workers. Okay, so in that way it will become more and more economical to the employers. Then startups 
companies and the entrepreneurs. They do not have big finance space. Initially, these startups would not be having much of the, you know, uh, financial strength. During that stage, the, the, if they hire the gig workers at the lower contract uh, prices, okay, they will, you know, harvest more and more from these gig workers. Okay, they can easily grow uh, without any difficulties during the initial stages of their development. Then this gig economy will save the lot of resources like office space and the training. There is no need to provide formal training to the, these big workers. Unlike if the, you know, for example, if the company X hires the uh, 10 employees, for these 10 employees before they engage in the work, this company X has to train these people very well regarding their responsibilities in the company. But if they hire the big workers, there is no need to train them because already they are skilled in some of the uh, activities. So they can hire such a skilled labor and they can you know, save the money which, which, which would otherwise have been spent on the training of these employees. Sorry, um, employees, yes. So in that way, this is more beneficial to the employee. Now let us look into the employee, employee side. Now, so far we have discussed the advantages regarding the employer. Now let us look into the advantages offered by the gig economy to the employees. Okay, that means the workers. These workers have the option to do the multiple job. Yes, I might be having the different skills. I might be having four to five skills. I will work for, if, for, for example, I am a singer. Okay, as, at the same time, I am also a journalist. I am also a very good writer. So, I have three different types of skills. Okay, being the singer, I can go to one company and I can offer my voice and I will get money here. Being the journalist, I will work for one company. In a newspaper, uh, newspaper, I will you know publish my article in the newspaper, and I will get the money from this activity. I am the very good writer, and I will publish my own book, and I will get the money from this activity also. In this way, this gig economy will offer multiple job opportunities to the gig worker. Then, these employees can work on the freelancing as well as the work full time somewhere else. See. If I am, you know, a uh, permanent employee, let us say I am the permanent employee in the company X, okay, I am working as a software engineer in the company X, but this is my full time job, being the, you uh, know, software engineer in the company X is my permanent job, but along with this job, if I, I have the any skill, like, for example, I am the very good web designer, okay, if I am a very good web designer, I can design the web and I will sell this web site to the another company, in that way, I will be, you know, uh, earning additional income. Okay. Then retired people can also stay active. If the retired professor is there, he can work for the online educating apps. Okay. There are various, you know, uh, online based learning platforms are there. The retired professor can also even teach on these platforms. Okay. Then it offers flexibility and a diversity to the workers, unlike the monotonous, monotonous full time jobs. It offers flexibility when the workers can work according to their convenience and schedule. Okay, in the full-time jobs, what happens? These people are the permanent workers. They have to go to the company from morning 10 to 5. Okay, 10 to 5, they must be engaged in the company-related activities. But if he is a gig worker, he can go to work at any time. At his convenience, he can work even at the midnight. If he wishes to be worked, he will work in the even midnight. Okay. Okay, this is the freedom offered by the uh, gig economy. Okay, these employers, uh, sorry, employees are the, the workers can save the cost on the travel or they can save the energy to travel. Okay, for uh, working in the uh, metro cities like the Bengaluru, uh, they, they have to travel far because of the traffic jam and all. There are various uh, travel related issues are there. But if the there is a gig worker, he will, you know, work from the home, he can avoid traffic jams also, he can avoid the fuel consumption also, he can avoid even the energy wastage also. In this way, these employees will get the benefit from the gig economy. Now, look at, let us look into one more stakeholder in this, you know, uh, gig economy, that is the women. Women, okay, the, this gig economy will offer the safe work environment for the women, okay, they can work from the home, there is no need to work uh, in the midnight, see some of the software companies which you know uh, 
which have the call centers in India, the people have to work even in the, they have to work from, for example, some of the workers have to work from night 10 to morning 6 o'clock, 10 p.m. to 6 a.m. If the women are involved in these kind of activities, there is a safety concern, but this gig economy will offer the job safety, sorry, the safety of work to the, to the women. Then this gig economy provides the on-demand work, allowing her join and drop out of the workforce as per her own will. Okay, she can join the job market as and when she wishes. If the if she doesn't want to work anymore, she can withdraw from the job. Again, she can sit back in the home. So this is the flexibility offered by the uh, gig economy to the woman. Then this will help in earning the extra income. Yes, being the household. If she is, you know, excellent in some of the skill, she can offer her skill and she can earn some of the income through her skill by sitting in the home itself and by connecting herself with the uh, app or the website and she can sell her, you know, uh, skills. This is, this is how the women also get benefit from the gig economy. Now, why this gig economy is gaining more and more importance? What are the driving factors of the gig economy? What, you know, makes the gig economy to thrive in the world why why this gig economy is becoming revolutionary field in the economy let us look into it see it offers a cheaper and more efficient services yes okay if you travel if you if you hire a private vehicle say for example you, you are going to the 100 kilometer you know tour if you hire the private vehicle they may charge let us say uh, 6000 rupees but this Uber, because of the competitive price, they may offer, you know, they may charge you only 4,000. Here you are saving 2,000 rupees. Okay, in that way it is cheaper and it is more efficient. As and when you require, even in the midnight, you can get the, these services. Okay, then comfort of working from home or from anywhere. This gig economy will offer the comfort. You can work from the home or even if you are not in home, uh, you are, you know, traveling. While traveling also, you can work. Okay, because of this flexibility, this is becoming more and more important. Now, more, there will be more choices for both employer as well as for the employees. The employer will have the more choices to acquire the talent. But the employee also will have more and more options to choose his employer. Okay, he can, you know, access variety of, you know, uh, companies, the, whatever the company it suits, the gig worker can go and work there. Okay. So in that way, this gig economy offers more choices because of that it is becoming more and more important. Uncertain business climate. As the nature of the job is changing, yes, in the new world, in the 21st century, which is, you know, where the internet is spreading fast, where the technology is playing a more and more role, here the jobs are changing every often, okay, from on every day basis, the nature of job is changing. This is the uncertain time for the business okay when there is an uncertain business climate when there is a changing nature of the jobs okay there is no need to hire the permanent employees yes the companies uh, there is no need for the companies to hire the permanent employees as and when the situation arises they can hire the new newly skilled gig worker and this company can you know uh, meet its you know required uh, task okay Changing work approach. The millennial generation. What is this millennial generation? The generation which is born in the 1990s. Okay. Now they are in their early 20, early 20s or later 20s. Around they are 22, 27, 28 year old. Okay. So these are called as the millennial generation. They are born in the 1990s, late 1990s. Okay. They seem to have a different attitude towards the their careers okay they do not have the uh, mindset of getting the permanent job they have they have the different talents they uh, have the various options before them right they seek to do work that they want to do rather than have the careers that may not satisfy their inner urges okay here they are acquiring talents from time to time okay as and when they acquire the new talent the suitable, they will find the suitable company, okay, they will sell their talents there, they will earn more and more income. In that way, they will be feeling, uh, you know, happy that they are working according to their, you know, wishes. In that way, these, you know, gig economy will provide more and more satisfaction to the millennial generation. Then, 
emergence of startup culture yes more and more startups are emerging they need the cheaper labor they need they, because they do not have much of the financial backup in their initial stages okay uh, they are also you know driving the gig economy then these employees new age employees often find that they need to move or take multiple position to offer the lifestyle they want now the lifestyle is changing now the uh, non veg sorry yes uh, non vegetarian source of protein is in high demand more and more people want to you know reside in the urban areas they want to construct the uh, new age houses okay they want to live the happy life they want to visit the different places they want to explore the world so this is the changed lifestyle of the people to meet the changed lifestyles they have to work in the different uh, areas okay only one source of income is not sufficient for these people so because of all these factors gig economy is becoming more and more in, you know important because of these things okay gig economy is thriving and these whatever the points we have discussed they have become the drivers for the gig economy okay now what are the concerns yes it is a very beautiful concept which is emerging very rapidly in the world but what are the some of the issues associated with this gig economy okay there is no certainty or there is no stability of the or there is no job security yes these gig workers they have the very short term contracts okay once this short term contract is over they have to remain unemployed till the next company hires them they have to wait in that way there is no certainty about their job there is no job security though they may get the see in company x they have worked let us say for two months on after two months their task is over now they will remain free after you know some company company y will hire them but in between these two uh, periods there will be huge gap during this period these people have to remain unemployed okay but even the y offers the job here in company y they will work for you not know, till the contract period is over again after the y also they will have to remain unemployed so this is the major concern in the gig economy then these gig workers are given low wages there is a unequal gender participation there is a more and more more and more male participation in the gig economy compared to the female then there is a lack of possibility for upward mobility yes in the formal sector job where the permanent jobs are there these permanent employees will be promoted to higher levels they will be you know reaching higher levels in their higher hierarchies but in the gig economy these gig workers have to remain in the same position okay for the long time or not even for long time they have to remain in the same position permanently this is one concern then these gig workers do not have the bargaining power yes if there is a uh, injustice uh, towards the gig workers in the particular company they will not be having the bargaining power because their strength is less because they are hired for a very short period of time they do not bargain with the company much then workers do not get the pensions these gig workers they will not get the pensions there is no insurance facility there is no gratuity and there are no special perks for the gig workers there is no basis on which banks and other financial service providers can extend the loan yes if you are a permanent worker based on your work based on the experience based on your salary structure and all the banks and the other financial institutions will offer you the loans but for gig workers there is no job security okay there is no permanent you know a salary structure for them there is no permanent job security also so for them the financial institutions will not offer the much loan facilities this is one more concern next it is not ex accessible for people in many rural areas okay because of the internet related issues because of the internet related issues in the rural areas uh, the rural people may not access the uh, gig economy much okay this is one more then crowding out of the permanent workers in some of the companies yes i said these gig workers are available for the low wage they can be available at any time so since the companies will prefer to hire these gig workers the, they will not hire the permanent workers they will stop recruiting the uh, you know permanent workers in that way it will lead to the crowding out of the permanent workers in the job market then 
flexibility of working gigs can actually disrupt the work life balance they will it will disrupt the sleep patterns and activities of the daily life yes because of the flexibility of the jobs the uh, gig workers have to work even in the middle of the night for example food delivery boys even if you order the food at the 12 uh, in the midnight these food delivery boys come and they will deliver the food but what is happening their life cycle is changing their work and life balance is affected their sleeping patterns will be affected okay then relationships between the workers and the employers clients and the vendors will be eroded yes see these are these gig workers are hired for only for a short period let us say uh, for 6 months or 3 months only they are hired for the 3 months they will work once the task is over they will get out of the company okay but if there is a continuous you know change is there in the flow of the workers what happens there will not be any much relationships between the workers of the company okay this will affect the work culture and this will eliminate the benefits that flow from the building long term trust yes there will not be any long term long term trust among the employees of the company see these are some of the concerns related to the gig economy now come to the indian scenario what is happening in india at what stage this gig economy is there in india let us look at that aspect india wants to achieve the in a status of 5 trillion dollar economy by 2025 okay yes this is the target set by the government of india long back okay we have to achieve we have to become the 5 trillion dollar economy by 2025 but to achieve this target gig economy will offer a major benefit it will become a building block for our plans okay so that means this gig economy has the widest scope to achieve the higher and higher economical growth in india according to the one data that is given by the india staffing federation uh, okay in 2019 india is the fifth largest in flexi staffing globally that means flexible staff or the flexible workers india is the fifth largest in the flexible working you know uh, economy globally after the united states of america china brazil and japan after us china brazil and japan india is the fifth largest you know a gig economy now let us come to the niti ayog's report we will study some of the highlights of the niti ayog related to the gig economy so this report is called as the india's booming big sorry india's booming gig and platform economy this is the report given by the niti ayog very recently two days back it submitted its report because of this report gig economy is in you know uh, news okay that's why i have taken up this topic for the discussion today now what is this report telling so india is the new frontier of the global economic revolution it is telling this report is telling that india is the frontier for the global economic revolution what is this global economic revolution this is nothing but the gig economy why this gig economy is gaining importance in india the niti ayog lists some of the reasons for that demographic dividend yes we have the large, largest working age population that is between 15 and the 59 years we have largest number of people these are capable of, capable of working more and more okay then half a million labor force is there yes we have the half a billion that means almost 50% of the almost 60% of the population of the india is in the labor force they will offer different kinds of job okay so world's youngest population india has the world's youngest population okay then there is a rapid urbanization in india there is a widespread adoption of smartphones and associated technology because of all these reasons the gig economy is you know gaining much and much importance in india now the niti ayog has given some of the data it is telling that in 2021 india had 7.7 million of gig workers okay in 2020 2021 india had the 7.7 million of gig workers then the it also predicts the niti ayog predicts that by 2029 or 30 that is by within next 8 years india will be having the 23.5 million workers in the gig economy 
okay that means 2.35 crores of people will be there in the job sector in the gig economy at present see there are 47 percent of the gig workers in the mid medium skilled jobs medium skilled job holders are more in the gig economy there are 22 percent highly skilled workers in the gig economy but 31 percent are the low skilled workers in the gig economy this is the data given by the niti ayog now what does this niti ayog recommends yes this is the data but what is uh, the niti ayog recommending to improve the gig economy in india to improve the uh, workers conditions in the gig economy it is asking the government to introduce the platform india initiative see the government of india has introduced various you know uh, job based programs like startup india initiative okay based on the lines of the startup india initiative this niti ayog is recommending to introduce the platform india initiative so this initiative will be built on the pillars of accelerating the platformization by simplification and and holding of the uh, these businessmen funding the support and incentives skill development of the workers and social and financial inclusion so if you do all these things so it is telling by recommending this platform india initiative the niti ayog is predicting that there will be better you know working conditions for the gig workers and there will be better opportunities for the employers also next in the second recommendation is that accelerating the access to finance for platform work workers the niti ayog is recommending accelerating the access to the finance as i said initially the banks and the other financial institutions will hesitate to offer some of the loans to these gig workers so the niti ayog has identified identified it properly and it is asking uh, the government to accelerate the access in the you know finance for the gig economy oh, sorry workers now the third recommendation is to skill development for platform jobs see we have to upskill though these workers have the skills but we have to upskill them in the previous slide we have seen that 41% are the medium skilled workers 31% are low skilled workers and 22% are the high skilled workers what we have to do we have to upskill these medium skilled and low skilled workers so that they will get better and better job opportunities okay these platforms are the online websites or the online apps they have to collaborate with the ministry of skill development and entrepreneurship and they have to collaborate with the national skill development corporation by collaborating with each other they can offer the skill training to the workers okay these platforms can also enable the creation of potential skill certificates yes they have to provide as and when they offer the job to the gig workers uh, based on the skills they have to offer you not know, taking the uh, help of these skill workers they have to provide the skill certificates to the workers or they can also be called as the skill pa passports okay so in that way uh, the skill of the gig workers can be enhanced and they can be getting the better you know employment opportunities in the in their next job searching then uh, the niti ayog is also telling to enhance the social inclusion in the new age digital economy yes i have said that these you know uh, gig workers they will not be having the any social security nets okay there is no social safety net for these workers the niti ayog is you know suggesting to provide the social inclusion as well as the it is also you know asking the uh, the government to provide more and more opportunities for the women and the physically weaker sections of the uh, society okay next yes here it is asking to extend the social security to the gig workers so it is asking to take the measures for paid sick leave there should be leave for these workers there should be health access and there should be health insurance for these gig workers and it is also asking that it has to provide the insurance the government has to provide, take the measures to provide the insurance uh, to the occupational disease and the work accident as yes, for example the food delivery boy may be uh, you know going to deliver the food if there is a uh, unfortunately if there is a accident that accident must be covered okay it, it must be insured 
So now the Niti Aayog also Aayog is also recommending uh, to offer some of the benefits like the retirement or the pension plans and other contingency benefits for the employ uh, gig workers. Okay, so these are the recommendations of the Niti Aayog for the gig workers. So if you look into the recommendations of the Niti Aayog, it is very clear that it is the recommendations are aimed at providing more and more safety to the gig workers. It is aimed at providing more. Financial inclusion. They are aimed at these recommendations are aimed at including the more and more women, more and more physically weaker you know, uh, sections of the society. Okay, so this is all about the gig economy. This is what the you know, present situation of the gig economy in India. Okay, uh, we have discussed so far what are the problems uh, problems faced by the gig workers. Okay. So this is all about gig economy in today's class. Thank you very much for watching this video. We will meet in the next video.